expert, Mark Elwood, and he's blowing the cover off all of the tricks retailers pull to get you to spend more during the holiday season. He taught us how to shop smarter in the store, but this year, more than half of consumers in this country plan to do some of their shopping online to the tune of a whopping $82 billion. So how do you outsmart online stores? Well, to find out, Mark issued a challenge to one of our viewers named Kristen Hovanek from Dix Hills, New York. Buy five specific items online and see just how low you can go. All right, Mark, I have these two little at home, a two and a one-year-old. My husband works, he's a police officer. I work part-time. They don't always act appropriately, so I have to do what I have to do to get the best prices, and that's to shop online. So I accept your challenge. Bring it. Gray cashmere sweater. Let's see. Pretty good. $59? Can't go wrong. I think she'll like that. Let's try to see if we can get a coupon code. Well, I think I'm pretty happy with $49.99 for a cashmere sweater. Hey, guys, thought you were going to give me a real challenge. Let's see what you have next. A 37-inch flat-screen TV. Definitely doable. Let's see. All right, a brand-new 37-inch TV to watch the games. $239. Perfect. TV piece of cake. Now let's see what's next. Round-trip flight from Miami to New York, December 23rd through 27th, plus four nights at a hotel near your home. Easy peasy. Come on, guys. We want them to stay in a nice place, but not too nice that it hurts my bank account. So the total price for two people for airfare and hotel, we got it down to $1,700. All right, let's see what you got next on your list. 800 thread count sheets, full-size bed. I could do that in my sleep. Everything is free shipping over 50, so that's definitely what I'm looking for. And my total is 56.69 for my sheets. Mark, I thought you were bringing me an actual challenge. Let's see what you got for the last one. One month's supply of diapers. Hey, listen, it's been a dirty job for the last two years. I know exactly how to do this one. $29.99 for diapers, definite plus. Unfortunately, I have to pay shipping on this, so you may have me beat on this one. All right, Mark, I don't think I did too bad. I got everything on your list for $2,100.79. Let's see how you do with this challenge. Nice work. Our super savvy shopper, Kristen Havanek, is here today. Hi, Kristen. Hello, hi. Nice to see you. All right. So I have to say I was very impressed. I like the trash talking, too. That was a nice touch. But you really think you beat Mark at this challenge? I don't know. I just saw what he said before, and I was like, oh. 500, 100, it's uh, so obvious. So I bet you he's got a couple tricks to show us. All right, and again, how much did you spend? $2,100.79. All right. Now, Mark, you took on the challenge. Mm -hmm. How much did you spend? I saved $599.20. Oh. <laughs> nice. uh, really? Okay, Kristen, so I think both of us, I think all of us have a, a, a thing or two to learn from well, you, Mark. Do, do you know what I have, to, I have to throw to you? Because the thing you did brilliantly and I could not beat were those amazing bed linen. I couldn't get it cheaper. That was fantastic. Wow. Okay, we're going to find out how Mark did this. You're going to show us the tricks of the trade. First, you say practice cart abandonment. This is such a good tip, you guys. I, honestly, to explain. So what you need to do is put some items into your checkout cart on any site that you re you've registered for, and then walk away. Because you're going to get a promo email, an email reminding you that you forgot something, and how do you think they're going to try and close the deal? They're going to tell you, oh, here's a coupon. So you're going to get it a, mm. a, at a, a less expensive price. Okay. Next, you say create a Twitter army. I create a special shopping Twitter handle where I follow all my favorite brands and a lot of deal, deal hunting sites. And once a day in the morning, you just refresh that feed and see sort of unannounced deals that have maybe been tweeted out or maybe have been emailed out. And you have a really quick way of checking that you're not missing a promo. And you're going to put some of those sites mm. and bloggers on our website. So if you guys want to know and get the insights, ones to follow. We'll have those for you there. Next, you say clear your cookies. Stores often give discounts to new customers, and they also might price according to your shopping history. So you need to show them 
that you have no shopping history. You on a, on a browser, you open your browser and you browse incognito. On Chrome, there's a little window, and it's basically where you're browsing without any information being disclosed. Wow. Speaking of browsers, you say you have to beef up your browser oh. this time of year as well. You have to turbocharge it, basically. And what are you right? talking about? So there are there are three services that I really love. One is called Poach It, which is a button that you install in your browser, and it's like a discount ray gun because it you you click on that anytime there's an item in front of you and that will show if there's any coupon available anywhere on the internet which is i love it you're like yeah totally <laughs> amazing right um then there is shop it to me which is essentially you plan ahead you say i want a navy blazer but i only want it on discount and you check a few boxes and you just sit back and wait and shop it to me sends you the email when it goes on sale. Which is wonderful, because that's such a time saver, too. I mean, how many times I wanted a pea coat a couple of years ago, and I can't tell you how long it took me to find a decent pea coat. And the last thing I would do, we all shop on Amazon, which isn't always the cheapest place to shop. I think we always assume it is. But if you want to know when Amazon's at its cheapest, use a service called Camel, 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 which is essentially a monkey on Amazon's back, because it <laughs> tracks all the prices. And finally, you say travel like a pro. So you can get really good deals, obviously, on airfare, hotels, things like that. So what's the secret? One secret, and one of the things that I did with Kristen, um, never buy your hotel and airfare together. Always buy them separately and buy them this way. I love a site called Airfare Watchdog because it employs real people to check deals, unadvertised sales. There are people checking random prices to see if the airlines have secretly dropped and you can create an alert for all the routes you travel, and bam, it tells you when they're cheap. Fantastic. I also, for a hotel, my favorite site is called Tingo, T like, like bingo with a T. Um, it will give you an automatic refund if anyone else books that uh, room for a cheaper price. So all you right. just sit back and you're safe. So we're going to put all this information on our website because it's hard to remember everything that Mark has told us. Meanwhile, Kristen, I think you did a great job and you were a great sport. We don't want to send you home empty handed so we're gonna send you home with all the deals you found in her challenge so Kristen gets the cashmere sweater a 37 inch flat screen tv round trip airfare for two to miami the 800 thread oh count sheets that you got for such a deal and a month's supply of diapers so congratulations More of Mark's great tips at katiekirk.com. Meanwhile, everyone in our audience is going home with a copy of Mark's book, Bargain Fever. So.